up against each other. So the official steps in for a moment. Now the inbound pass to Durr. Melora Brown with a tough catch. And eventually foul. Pagis with it. Pagis going inside the arc. Finds Smith who squares up. Misses. Ball knocked away from Durr, but into the hands of A.J. Smith. Furman has to foul. He missed it. Furman will have a pretty cool effect inside McAllister Fieldhouse. Full atmosphere here. Furman out of the timeout. Down by three. Open look for Pagis. Off the front iron. Malora Brown grabs it. Trying to make it a two-possession game with 6.8 to go. He can't do it. Furman, another chance. It's Pagis. Pagis takes it for the tie. He hits it. Pagis is the hero again. Previously, it was a game winner with less than one second. 17, short. And they're now one of nine from the field. Stepping into a three, P.J. Smith, Jr. Pagis with Morgan closely on him. Smith open for three, not this time. Offensive rebound, a stick back for Foster, and a chance for three the conventional way. He's up to that becomes a factor here. Pagis with 10 to shoot. Pagis over the top of Morgan with a tough finish. Defensively here is that you don't want him to end up with the basketball and get fouled. And the Citadel will now try to execute whatever they drew up in their final timeout. It's Davis. Davis for the tie. Way short. Melora Brown grabs it, gets it out to Morgan. Morgan for the tie. No. Davis at the horn. No. Three chances for the Citadel. They all go begging. And Furman comes away with a big road victory. Down by 18 in the.